Today I'm going to show you how to make this ramen in under an hour. How amazing is that? That everything you need for your basic ramen is all available in one shop. Island Larder. Let me take you to the Island Larder and tell you a little bit about it. The Island Larder is located right in the center of town at Commercial Street. This is not only a zero waste food shop, but it also sells and promotes local produce from eggs, milk, fish, meat, you name it, and you'll have it at the Island Larder. They even make their own ice cream and serve delicious coffee. The zero waste food station is so easy to use. And all products that are made or sold is palm oil free. Make sure to check out their website and social media to know more about them. See, anyone will tell you that the flavor of ramen is in the stock. And for a good stock, you need good ingredients. See, the best thing about this ramen is it can be cooked anytime you feel like having a ramen. You don't need to make a pork stock that's simmering for hours. You don't need to make a chicken stock. And I'm gonna show you how to make a vegan dashi. See, dashi is the heart and soul of ramen. Traditional dashi is made of pork or chicken bones that are simmered for hours on end. But I'm gonna show you how to make a vegan dashi. Easy for anyone to follow and it's ready in minutes. But the flavors is gonna blow your mind away. So for that, we are gonna use some soy sauce, a bit of ginger, some vegetable stock cubes, and we are gonna use this vegetarian fish sauce instead of kombu, which is made of seaweed and soy sauce, which is basically vegan. And some dried mushrooms. I'm not gonna use all of the ingredients. I'm gonna use as much as I want, put it back in the pantry, and it's ready when you're craving some ramen. So let's start with the dashi. Take a big pot of water and add your soy sauce to it, followed by your vegan fish sauce and your stock cube. Then put in your dried mushrooms and your slices of ginger. We are gonna whisk this to dissolve the stock cube. While this is simmering away, let's get our sides ready. We're gonna be making some crispy dry beef. And it's so easy, let me show you. Take your pan, add your beef and your soy sauce to it followed by a salt, a dash of oil, and then you give it a mix. Add your ginger and keep mixing it so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. And if it does, add a drop of water and it will bring all the flavorful fonts back into your beef. And if you like this video so far, make sure to smash that subscribe button to know when the next video is coming up. And at the very end, add your sesame seeds and that's all there is to this crispy beef. I told you it's gonna be easy. It's so simple, yet so delicious. And that's how you make a ginger and sesame crispy dry beef. Next, we are gonna prep some vegetables for the ramen. I've used mushrooms, carrots, beans, radish, pork choy, bell peppers, some parsley, spring onion, cause I had loads of vegetables in my fridge. But you don't need to use all of them. You could just use whatever you like. Just use green beans and pork choy. You could just use some carrots and mushrooms. It's up to you. Just choose whatever you like. But I like a whole rainbow of things. For the beans, I'm basically just going to take the tails off. For the bell pepper, I'm just going to slice it thin. If you want to know how to properly slice a bell pepper without wastage, make sure to check out the link above. There's no definitive list of vegetables you can use in a ramen but I like to use a whole range of stuff. One of the easiest way to use carrots is to peel them and then julienne in the center. So that should be plenty of veg for our ramen. We'll be next taking our dashi and straining it. So that's your dashi ready. You can use as little or as much as you want. The rest can go in the fridge or it can be frozen for the next time you have a ramen craving. Next, we'll be making some tari, which means sauce in Japanese. In this recipe, we'll be making a simple white miso tare. For that, add your white miso paste, add a few ladles of dashi stock, your mushrooms, and then we'll be adding your beans and pork choy just for a few minutes. The best thing about this ramen, that it's ready to eat. So all you do is scrunch it up and add it to your tare to heat it up. Put your noodles in, your veg, your stock, and you're ready to eat. And that's your ramen ready. You could add chicken, you could add some chili oil, you could add the crispy beef, you could add some ramen eggs, 
you can add anything you want to this ramen base. I hope you like this video and I'll see you next time.